Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and Christmas is coming, and the goose is getting fat, not this one. I'm going to show you how to roast a goose. So pe people are always saying a goose is a great alternative to a turkey for Christmas or Thanksgiving or a special occasion, and it is, if you can get one. Um, when we lived in Spain, I tried really hard to get one, and I almost managed it one time, but there was a misunderstanding over the price, which I thought would be 30 euros, but actually turned out to be 150. That was a bit beyond my budget. Anyway, this one we got for free, yes! Goose has a reputation for being really fatty, and it is, but we can deal with that, and we'll have lots of lovely goose fat for doing the roast potatoes in. So don't be scared, don't be worried, let's do it. Right, so I've got a goose, I've got some salt and pepper, and I've got the oven preheating to 220 degrees Celsius. So this is a goose that we uh, dressed ourselves, which is why it looks a little bit messy. Um, it needs to be at room temperature, and it needs to be dry. And what we're going to do is prick it with a needle or a sharp skewer or a cocktail stick, and just prick through the skin uh, and try not to penetrate the meat and the reason for doing this is it lets the fat escape during cooking. Right so now we just want to season it with pepper and quite a lot of salt and then we'll just place it on a, a wire rack over a, a roasting tin and what you need to do is cook it for 30 minutes at the, the high temperature and then 14 minutes per pound or 450 grams and then it rests for 20 minutes after so that works out at just under two hours to do this plus the resting time. I'm going to do a, a cranberry stuffing to go with the goose. So I've got 100 grams of homemade breadcrumbs nice and coarse, I've got a small onion, a knob of butter, uh, a handful of cranberries. These were dried and I've soaked them in cold water for a few hours and some thyme, salt and white pepper. And the first thing we want to do is peel and chop this onion and just soften it in a frying pan for a few minutes. It doesn't have to be a red onion, any kind of onion will do. It's just we've got some little red onions that need using up. And just chop them quite finely. So to make the stuffing we'll just add what half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of thyme or um, sage would be good as well and half a teaspoon of white pepper. Where's that all together? Add the cranberries and the drained onions. And now we just want a small amount of boiling water, just enough to make it kind of stick together. And we'll melt in the butter and leave that to stand. The uh, the breadcrumbs will swell and it'll it'll turn into a, a nice stuffingy kind of mix. And I'm going to cook these in a muffin tin. I don't. Well, I never put stuffing inside a bird because uh, it means, you know, the stuffing doesn't get cooked properly and neither does the bird. So it's better to do it separately. Now the goose has had his uh, first 30 minute blast at high temperature and we turn the oven down to 180 degrees Celsius. And there's quite a lot of fat come out already so I'm going to pull that off into a bowl and then we'll pop him back in. Actually, I'll just take the wire rack off, that'll make it easier. Well, wow, I told you there was a lot of fat on a goose, didn't I? Now, to go with the goose, you've got to have roast potatoes roasted in the goose fat. These are Maris Pipers, which are the, the best kind of spud for roasting. But, you know, if you can't get these, anything else will do. And I'm not going to peel them prop completely because the, the skin's pretty clean. Uh, I'm just going to cut out the nasty looking bits. So I've given them a quick rinse and now I'm just going to cut them into irregular sort of bite-sized chunks. I've got a pan of water, salted water, 
come into the boil and I'll throw them in there and parboil them for seven minutes. Okay, I've got um, some melted duck fat in this pan and I've got my parboiled potatoes. I'm just going to shake them in this colander just to rough them up a bit and then pop them in there. Stir them around to get them all nicely coated and then I'll give them 30 to 40 minutes in a hot oven. Now for the stuffing I've got this muffin tin and I'm just going to grease the uh, the things. <laughs> I never know what to call these things. The things, the holes. Because even though it's non-stick, you know what I think about non-stick. And I think I'll probably only have enough mixture to do six of these. And I'll just pop some of the mixture into each one. And that will need to cook in a medium oven for about 30 minutes. Right, the goose is cooked. So now I'm going to wrap this in foil, loosely tent it in foil, and let it rest for 20 minutes. Now then, haha, <laughs> this is ready. I'll uh, take the leg off. So we've got the leg off and now we'll just remove the breast. And now I'll just slice that on the diagonal. And that'll be lovely. Okay, look at this. Fantastic. There's the goose. Mmm. Well, that's fantastic. It's amazing. And the goose fat roast potato. Let's try that. That all works for me. Fantastic. And that's that, hope you enjoyed it. Now please share it with all your friends on social media. Subscribe to this channel, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and don't forget the amazing website that has all the details of all the recipes. And thank you for watching, come back soon.